morning. Welcome back to day four of the Penang Way. So today I'm start, I started in Hebden Bridge and I'm making my way over to Cowling, another 18 or 19 mile day by the look of it. Um, so I'm just walking alongside this beautiful canal towpath which should bring me on to the uh, Pennine Way shortly. So from what I can see on the map it looks like I've got quite a steep climb up onto the uh, uh, the moors uh, but my body's feeling a bit uh, uh, stiffer than one would like this morning after yesterday's debacle trying to find the accommodation so I'm hoping that a uh, um, steep climb will wake the legs up a little bit. Right, weather's looking okay so far. I think there's some heavy rain doing about tea time. So I might get caught in that, but we'll see. Right, let's see what the day brings, shall we? So that climb up has a reputation amongst Pennine Way walkers and I can see why. It's definitely um, on the steep side and it does drag on for a while. The most challenging thing about it though was the sheer number of nettles and blackberry bushes. Um, I'm glad I've got my tick removal tool with me because I'll be using that to pick all the thorns out of my shins. <laughs> anyway, I'm obviously starting to get into the uh, open moorland parts again now. I can see Stoodley Pipe behind me, so uh, I think the real walking starts now, doesn't it? I've just walked through that gate to be greeted by that ugly thing. It made me jump. <laughs> the way it was to start with. I think I'm going to set up a website called Crap footpaths.com this one would definitely be on there it's overgrown barely enough room to put your feet anywhere and strategically placed boulders designed to break an ankle I think <laughs> right. right shall we address last night's navigational nightmare I'll try not to string this out. <laughs> um, so, as I mentioned yesterday, um, my accommodation was a few miles off the trail. And Booking.com, in trying to be helpful, they basically pop all of the accommodation nights in your calendar on your phone. Um, and in there is a link to get directions. So, bearing in mind I was on the top of Studley Pike with barely any phone signal. Um, I did manage to fire up the navigation on uh, um, Apple Maps, which isn't the greatest in the hills. Um, and anyway, to cut a long story short, because it's a long story already, <laughs> um, it took me about two miles away from the actual place that I was meant to be staying. So it was showing as the right place on the map, but no, it wasn't. Anyway. I corrected my uh, error, but it meant having another uh, best part of a two mile walk back down to the actual accommodation. So the body was feeling fantastic at Studley Park. Um, but by the time I got back to my B&B, um, I was flagging. <laughs> and I was quite deflated about it all yesterday, having to do all that extra mileage and my body felt it. But uh, good night's sleep, today's another day. And I've carefully checked where I'm actually going tonight and I'm pleased to report that he's pretty much bang on the trail. So yeah, yesterday's gone now, draw a line under it. Let's carry on with the rest of the walk. Sorry, it's a two minute long waffle there, but uh, I, I said I'd tell you what happened. <laughs> so I finally made it out into the open moorland. There's been a lot of changes in elevation uh, so far today, which I think is good for legs as it keeps them 
moving in different directions, I think. <laughs> So I'm about seven miles in and the, uh, the day's going good, it's a beautiful day. Don't think I'll get to cowling before the rain comes but it is what it is. Um, I had a bit of a favour to ask, so anyone who's been watching this series of videos, if you're enjoying them, um, I wonder if you could do me a favour and uh, share them with your, um, uh, with your friends. Obviously, only share them with people that you think would actually like to watch them. You know, I don't want you to subject your friends to any form of torture or anything like that. <laughs> um, but there's a couple of reasons I ask. Um, firstly, obviously, I'd love for these videos to be watched by as many people as possible. Um, keeps me motivated and, as I mentioned before, people commenting. Uh, um, I love reading them. Um, but I'm hoping in the next uh, few days to uh, start to set up a fundraising page so obviously the more people that watch these videos and uh, have awareness of what I'm doing um, hopefully the more we can raise for a deserving charity. Anyway, sales pitch over. <laughs> Let's carry on up to Top Withens shall we? <laughs> So I've made it here to Top Withens, um, obviously associated with Wuthering Heights and the Emily Bronte novel. But there's a strategically placed bench where I'm going to actually sit and eat some food because I'm starving and I need to rest up for a few minutes. I was going to eat up there but I was joined by thousands of midges and I've been joined by them here as well. <laughs> it's not a breath of wind today. So uh, it will be a, a quick stop and then I'm on the way. Um, we're back on with pastries again today. I raided the, um, um, the Continental breakfast bar where I stayed. I did ask, obviously this one's not really stood the journey very well, but B&B uh, &B owners further north on the Pennine Way, hide your pastries <laughs> if I'm in town. Right, oh, this is horrible, Midge Central. So I'm edging ever closer to the uh, moors, Eakinshaw Moor, I think. And it looks like the rain is edging ever closer towards me. I think I've got about two miles left to go. I've barely stopped today because every time I do, I keep getting attacked by midges uh, because there's uh, so little breeze. In fact, there's no breeze. Um, I mean, the only saving grace is it is keeping the uh, the weather at bay by the look of it. Um, it's snack time. Um, I've been eating these grenade bars. Um, they're supposed to be good energy boost. I think they've got about 500 calories in a bar, but they're hard work. I mean, I've not eaten soil since I was a kid, I don't think, but I'm guessing that the texture is very similar, but they are doing me some good. They just take some getting down. <laughs> Right, let's carry on to cowling. So there's a trig point over there, um, Little Wolf Stones. It's not on the official Pennine Way track. In fact, it's a good distance from the official Pennine Way track. So unfortunately, it can do one. I think that sums up my mood at the end of a very long day. <laughs> So I've been asked by a couple of people in the video comments where is song of the day so go back 12 months when I walked the Cleveland way those of you who followed my channel right from the start will remember that on every day because I pretty much had to get the headphones on and uh, listen to some music to keep me going on I'm really long 20 plus mile days I chose a song of the day um, so far I've not felt the need to uh, 
um, kind of bust out the headphones and listen to some music, but watch this space. I'm sure we can come up with a, one or two songs of the day um, as we uh, progress along the Pennine Way. So after hours of trudging over featureless moorland, looks like I've got my first view of the Orchard Dales. I think that must be Penny Ghent. And Wernside over there? Don't quote me on that though. All you can probably see in front of the lens are loads of midges. <laughs> Right, I've made it to Cowling. Another long day, 18 miles in total. Um, enjoyable day again. Obviously, not counting the Midge Fest though. I've barely been able to stop all day today. Um, I'm actually staying in a little shepherd's hut tonight. Um, it's, it's very tiny, but it'll do the job. It's even got an ensuite and just about enough room to do my uh, my stretches <laughs> um, and I bumped into a chap who um, he's on the Penang Way Walkers Facebook group so there's a pub a short distance away from here and the owner of the campsite said it's uh, really good so we're going to go up there in, a, in about an hour's time and get some food right okay Thanks for watching day four, <laughs> losing count. Uh, tomorrow I make my way into the Orchard Hills, I do believe, to Malham. So looking forward to that. Join me for that one. Bye for now.